Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the Euromain Movie Report, the show where I talk about a movie I have recently watched at my local movie theatre. This week I'm going to talk about The Post. The Post is based upon a true story, which is about that uh, back in uh, the late 1960s when uh, the Vietnam War had no sign of slowing down, uh, then Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara of the United States, he had this report made about U.S. involvement in the war in Southeast Asia at that time. And that report showed that um, even though America poured enormous military resources in the war in Vietnam, then there weren't any signs of the conflict uh, tipping in the US and its allies' favors. Um, but um, this report was um, shielded from the public. And one uh, day there was this uh, civilian contractor named uh, Dan or something, played by the, the guy who was one of the leads in... Uh, the Americans. He decides to smuggle out this uh, report from his place of employment, uh, where there was a copy, and then start to share it with, with uh, the media. And then uh, we um, come to uh, why the movie is called *The Post*, because um, the, most of the movie takes a place. Uh, most of the movie takes place in and around the uh, Washington Post, and. Um, uh, around in 1971, where the Washington Post were, was seen, according to the movie, as much some of what a yeah regional paper, not uh, a, a paper of global significance. And then um, the editor of the Washington Post is, of course, played by Tom Hanks, and the owner of the Washington Post is played by Meryl Streep. And both of them do a good job, in my opinion. And the guy who plays um, Robert McNamara is, uh, of course, uh, none other than uh, Bruce Greenwood. And I must say, having seen Robert McNamara portrayed on film before, uh, Bruce Greenwood's portrayal of the character was very good. He even looked like him uh, very much uh, with the round glasses and uh, the, the, the tightly cut hair. And he... Was he even able to hit an accent which uh, resembles, in to some extent, how the original or the real Robert McNamara he did talk? And then, in the duration of the film, we of course follow how um, the Washington Post obtained the so-called uh, file, which was later known as the Pentagon Papers. And the fun thing about the movie: every time we hear something about Richard Nixon, the president of the time. They have this actor uh, speaking uh, in a telephone with his back uh, to a window and then they use the original um, Nixon uh, recordings uh, to run over the, this footage. And that was because uh, the Nixon recordings was that every telephone conversation which uh, went in and out of the White House, I don't know if it's the same today, was recorded on these um, <laughs> giant tape recorders. And yeah, if you're interested in history, you will find this movie interesting. If you're not interested in history, you know, if you're not into political dramas, then you, of course you will find the post boring. And one sad thing about the post is, of course, that it contains several errors. Many of them are mentioned on IMDb. For instance, Bob Odenkirk's character, who plays um, uh, one of the lead uh, uh, journalists uh, on the paper, Ben, ben uh, Bedekian, who can see in, in one scene that uh, he, he's obviously wearing a wig, and there are these markings on his forehead in a scene where the organic glue uh, has started to dissolve or something like that. But the most uh, visible goof, in my opinion, was there's a scene, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is that um, when um, Robert McNamara's character, he comes to uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Graham's 
House uh, Meryl Streep's character to try to talk her out of publishing what would, would, what would, would later be known as the Pentagon Papers. Uh, the camera pans into her living room and you can see some sort of light outside the window, it, which to, uh, to my eyes looks very much like a stage light. And because uh, it's gone in the next scene, and this combined with a lot of other goofs and errors in the film, makes me wonder if the post-production was rushed so it could uh, compete in uh, the 2018 Oscars, and that's a bit sad because uh, I'm not used to seeing a Spielberg movie with all of these um, errors. That said, it's a good film if you're interested in political dramas, uh, and the acting is is good. Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep, they really deliver their, not their finest performance, but a good performance. So, and the movie, of course, <laughs> to those who are interested in political dramas, it sets, sets up for our potential sequel, because... Um, one of the final scenes in the film is that so you have a um, night watchman uh, walking around this uh, office building and then he comes to a door which uh, looks to have been broken up uh, with some sort of tool and then he takes his uh, walkie-talkie and calls his uh, supervisor and says something like uh, it looks like there's a, uh, there has been a break-in at the Watergate and Watergate was of course a hotel in Washington uh, where there was a break-in at the uh, Democratic Party's uh, uh, election committee. Uh, and uh, this was later traced back to Richard Nixon, which caused uh, uh, that he had to resign. So maybe <laughs> uh, Spielberg wants to make a Watergate movie or something like that. I don't know. But if I'm going to rate the post, I will give it... Yeah, three out of five. That's it, your main of your man's movie report. Thanks for watching and don't forget if you like this movie talk slash movie review, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to my movie reviews, there's a bell icon you can click with your mouse, which will enable you to get an update every time I post a new video. But I will return next week with another movie review. Until then, have a pleasant weekend or watch left of it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.